Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be overhauling my bookshelves, which I know it's very hard to see because you've got the glare of the lights and of the windows on the glass, but essentially these are my bookshelves. I have done one of these before where I've taken everything off the shelf and resorted it and just tidied it up. For those of you who are unfamiliar, I sort my shelves alphabetically by author. I don't need to sort them by genre. I tried sorting them by rainbow, it nearly did my head in. I prefer to be able to find things really quickly and I know, generally know the authors, so that makes it the most easy and efficient way for me to collect my books. What I may do in a moment is actually close the blinds just so when I am filming part of this video it will be easy to see. We're going to do this, it's just um, I'm stuck here, I'm at home. I've been meaning to do this for ages, so it's a good enough time as any to do it now. I also have a whole lot of knickknacks and stuff on the shelf. I actually want to clear some of them off and rearrange them. So we'll just, we'll see how we go. I'm going to alternate between filming on this and filming on my phone just to show you guys a bit of some close-ups. I don't know if I'll do a book shelf tour at the end because there's a lot of books, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. And for those of you who remember my last video, I will need to be on the stepladder. So if that gives you anxiety, well, please be rest assured that I hate climbing on ladders, so when I do this, I do it making sure that I'm being very, very safe. Also, my bookshelves are quite tall. I'm gonna see if I can raise the camera up a little bit further so that you can see the top shelves as well. For the most part, down the bottom, there's a few shelves that I'm not gonna to touch. I have two shelves full of Star Wars, well, two and a half shelves full of Star Wars books, a shelf of comic books, and a shelf of DVDs. They're, those ones I'm not touching. I am gonna swap my TBR books, which are down on the bottom right hand side over to this side just so I can grab them easily and I also have a shelf of teacher reference books that I keep on my shelf as well so pretty much the bottom two shelves are not going to change all that dramatically except for swapping over my TBR shelf but yeah I'm gonna do this I'll pull everything off and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I pull it off I'm gonna end up with books everywhere I <sighs> honestly this is probably the most stressful kind of video to film, but it's also very cathartic because it's good to go through my shelves every now and then and see what's there. I have done a couple of really big unhauls recently. I think I've cleared nearly 100 books off my shelf. So hopefully there will be some room at the end. And what I want to try and achieve by the end of this is at least space on the shelf for one or two extra books on every shelf, just so that as I add things that are on my physical TBR, as I read them, I can re-add them to my collection. Let's get started. Okay, so kids, don't do this at home. I am standing on my bed. This is what my shelves currently look like. There's the box light, as you can see. I get a lot of glare. And there are tons of things on my shelf, so I do really want to just give this a bit of, bit of a tidy up. And I'm pretty sure what I'm going to end up doing is putting all of my Pop Funkos up along the top here. And just have them all the way across the top shelves and out of the way. I've cleared the top six shelves and this is the current state of my bed. So that's what six shelves look like. I've got to pull another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another seven shelves off. So I think I'm going to be stacking books. All right, I have cleared all of the shelves that I need to clear. So you can see the Star Wars books are in the middle and then there's some non-fiction and my comics, but I'm not touching those. Uh, down the bottom left-hand corner of the screen at the moment is where all the reference books are, plus some extra coffee table books and things that I've collected over the years. And then I actually have two shelves of DVDs down the bottom, and these are my go-to when I want to comfort watch some old favourite shows. I haven't pulled all of the items off the shelf from here yet, but I will once I put all the books back on the shelf. Those are my unread physical books, which I'm going to put on the shelf probably first in a moment. But then if I turn around, ignoring all of the mess, these are the rest of the books that I've pulled off the shelf. So that were the first six shelves and then over here. And yes, that is a packet of toilet paper underneath my chair because I've actually got nowhere else to store it. So I'm finding places to store things in my apartment that 
I would not have thought of. I've pulled everything off the shelf so you should have seen that clip and footage. I am sweating. It is so hot in here at the moment thanks to, to the lights. So I'm going to put my TBR books back on the shelf first. They're going to go over this side and then I'm going to start tackling reordering all of these books that are on my bed and on the floor. For the most part they're in alphabetical order but there are a few that were not so I want to try and make sure that I get those sorted before they go back on the shelf this time. Okay, let's do this. Okay guys, so I think I have managed to put everything back on the shelves. There's a couple of books that I did pull off that I had doubles of that I've decided I'm going to clear out. I have got a whole big garbage bag full of stuff that I'm going to eventually donate that came off my shelves and I've only put back on what I really want to keep. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm actually going to switch to my phone camera and I'll just do little pans of all of the shelves so that you guys can see exactly what there is. It's not perfect alphabetical order because I tried to fit books in and I have them stacked and all sorts of things, but everything is relatively in order, which which suits my personality just fine. Okay, so this is shelf number one, and it's sort of A to B. I'm missing a few of my Alona Andrews books because I am currently in the middle of rereading them, so that pile will change over the next week or so. This is shelf three, and I've got all my ceramic figures up here just so I don't knock them and damage them. This is one of the shelves that's kind of out of order, but I don't mind too much because the, for the most part it is in order and I can find things really easily. The next shelf. Yes, that is me when I was little. This should just really be dubbed the Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff shelf because that's basically what's on here. And this one would be the Derek Landy Skullduggery Pleasant shelf. This shelf has part one of my Matthew Riley collection, which technically takes up a shelf all on its own, but I just, I couldn't fit it all on its own shelf and keep everything else in order. That's the rest of my Matthew Riley books and my Harry Potter books and all the Harry Potter ones that I made, which I really love. This is Star Wars shelf number one. I should say I'm going horizontally across all of the shelves, so the Star Wars books aren't going to appear in order. Nalini Singh shelf. This is Star Wars shelf number two. Honestly, I'm going to need to do something about these shelves later on, but I just, I don't have it in me to worry about these ones at the moment because for the most part, things fit, even if they're stacked precariously. This is my TBR shelf. 
and I have this plus maybe another 12 or 15 physical books on my TBR. So for the moment, they're all okay on one shelf. And hopefully from now on, my goal is to keep my physical TBR shelf to one shelf. This is the last of my red books, all the way up to Z. Lots of space at the end and all my excess candles that I really want to burn. A few more Star Wars books here, as well as some non-fiction titles. Also stacked precariously. That's the two shelves that feature my DVDs that I just go back to every now and then. This is my teacher resource shelf, as well as all my excess planners and coffee table books and whatnot. And finally, my last precariously stacked shelf is my graphic novels, which honestly is mostly X-Men and Batman titles. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I don't know when I'm going to be doing this again, because as soon as I start it, then I remember why I don't do it very often, because even though it doesn't take a long time, it's just kind of mildly stressful and I get really, really warm going up and down the ladder and pulling things off and cleaning things and sorting and then having to make decisions. But I do feel a lot lighter now. So hopefully this inspires you to go and have a look at your shelves and see what you can change up or tidy or just move things around. Honestly, it's just like a fresh start. I hope that you guys are doing well no matter where you are in the world and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.